Ladies and gentlemen, Texts of the Black Pants Legion here. I intend to read for you The Eye of Argon. This is widely considered to be the worst novella ever written. Unlike the bad fan fictions, intentionally awful and otherwise, this was actually published. For the librarians out there, the ISBN number is 08095-6261-8. And for those of you who are currently logged into WorldCat, the OCLC is 713-47850. Yes, this was actually published in an era of print. The version I am reading comes from the Ansible, a newsletter and repository of all things sci-fi. You'll find a link below. It's well worth exploration. I shall begin as with all stories at the beginning. And... Pardon any giggling or laughing. It is considered an extreme act to be able to finish this without smiling in the least. All grammatical mistakes and poor word usage is entirely the author's. I will read it as it is written. The Eye of Argon, Chapter 1 The weather-beaten trail wound ahead into the dust-racked climbs of the barren land which dominates large portions of the Norgolian Empire. Each worn hoofprint smothered by the sifting sands of time shone dully against the dust-splattered crust of the earth. The tireless sun cast its parching rays of incandescence from overhead halfway through its daily revolution. Small rodents scampered about, occupying themselves in the daily accomplishments of their dismal lives. Dust sprayed over three heaving mounts in blinding clouds while they bore the burdensome cargoes of their struggling overseers. Prepare to embrace your creators in the Stygian haunts of hell, barbarian, gasped the first soldier. Only after you have kissed the fleeting stead of death, wretch, returned Grignir. A sweeping blade of flashing steel riveted from the massive barbarian's hide-enameled shield as its rippling right arm thrust forth, sending a steel-shot blade into the hilt, into the soldier's vital organs. The disemboweled mercenary crumpled from his saddle and sank to the clouded sward. Sprinkling the parched dust with crimson droplets of escaping life fluid, the enthused barbarian swiveled about, his shock of fiery red hair tossing robustly in the humid air currents as he faced the attack of defeated soldiers, fellow in arms. Damn you, barbarian, shrieked the soldier as he observed his comrade in death. A gleaming scimitar smote a heavy blow against the renegade's spiked helmet, bringing a heavy cloud over the accordion's misting brain. Shaking off the effects of the pounding blow to his head, Grigner brought his scarlet-streaked edge against the soldier's crudely forged halberk, clanging harmlessly to the left side of his opponent. The soldier's steed... I, he says stead, but it's not spelled... Never mind. Whinnied as he directed the horse back from the driving blade of the barbarian. Grigner leashed his mount forward as the hoarsely piercing battle cry of his wilderness-bred race resounded from his grinding lungs. <laughs> A twirling blade bounced harmlessly from the mighty thief's buckler as his rolling right arm cleft upward, sending a foot of blinding steel ripping through the Cimmerian's exposed gullet, a gasping gurgle from the soldier's writhing mouth as he tumbled to the golden sand at his feet and wormed agonizingly in his deathbed. <laughs> Grignir's emerald green orbs glared lustfully at the wallowing soldier struggling before his chestnut swirled mount. His scowling voice reverberated over the dying form in a tone of mocking mirth. Your city-bred dog should learn not to antagonize your better. Reining his weary mount ahead, 
Grignir resumed his journey to the Nor- Norgolian city of Gorzam, hoping to discover wine, women, and adventure to boil the wild blood coursing through his veins. Well, his savage veins. The trek to Gorzam was forced upon Grignir when the soldiers of Kryn were unleashed upon him by a faithless concubine he had wooed. His scandalous activities throughout the Sumerian city had unleashed throngs of havoc and the uproar among its refined patricians, leading them to tack a heavy reward over his head. He had barely managed to escape through the back entrance of the inn he had been guzzling in. As a squad of soldiers trounced upon him after spilling a spout of blood from the leader of the mercenaries as he dismembered one of the officer's arms, he retreated to his mount to make his way toward Gorzom, rumored to contain hordes of plunder and many young winches for any man who has the backbone to wrest them away. My God, this is terrible. Uh, yeah, I'll be reading more of this. Holy shit.